Let me show you how to create a questionnaire form on Squarespace. We're going to take advantage of the power and flexibility of JotForm and use it on Squarespace. So let me show you how on this video right now. Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to add a questionnaire form into Squarespace. We are first going to build it here on Job Form so we can later embed it on Squarespace. So let's get started. This is our Job Form panel, and we're going to get started by creating a new form. Now we can start from two ways. We can start from scratch and build every single element of the questionnaire, or we can use a template to make things faster and easier. For this demo, we're going to use a template. So let's go ahead and click on it. And on the left, we have the categories. We're going to select questionnaire templates and we can go ahead and swift through these, check them out. We can go ahead and preview them, see if we like them. We can go ahead and test them. And if we like this questionnaire, we can use the template. If not, we can just click, go ahead and click on X, look for another one and use it. In this case, I like this one. So let's go ahead and use it. So this is a web designer client questionnaire. So we're going to use this template. Now, the good thing about templates is that we can go ahead and customize them after we've imported them. So in this case, if I need to edit the elements, if I need to remove elements or keep or whatever I want to do with them, I, it is possible. I can also change the style for them. I can drop in more elements if I like, but in this case, we're going to keep it just as it is. And we're going to go into publish. We're going to go into platforms and we're going to search for Squarespace. Let's go ahead and select it. And this is the code that we are going to need to use on Squarespace. So let's go ahead and copy this and let's go ahead on over to Squarespace. This is my Squarespace dashboard. And as you can see, I already have a website that's built right here. But if you don't have a website, do go ahead and create one first in Squarespace. So create a website. In this case, let's go ahead and use this one for the for demo purposes. So let's go into website and this is going to open up the builder for the Squarespace website and we're going to need to edit the website here so we can embed our form. Here we go, we have our website loaded and to edit the website, if we want to add our questionnaire in the main page, we can just go ahead and click on double click here and it's going to open up the editor. Um, for this case, what we're going to do is we're going to create a page for the questionnaire. So we're going to go into pages and we're going to click on this plus button. Okay, let's go ahead and click that. And we have two main options, which is a blank page or a page layout. Layouts are are tied to your web template. So if I click on that, there's templates that we have available to use. So if I want to use something like this and then embed the questionnaire inside of this, that is possible. For this demo, we're going to add a blank page. So we'll go ahead and click create a blank page. Let's go ahead and rename this questionnaire. Let's click enter. And there we go. Now to add our questionnaire, we're going to click double click inside of this page. So it opens up the editor inside of Squarespace. And we're going to add a new section because this is a blank page. Again, we're going to add a blank section. There we go. And we're going to click on add block. Let's search for code. Let's select it. And here we have the code. Let's click on this pencil. And this is where we're going to add our code. Let's go ahead and clean this code that's here by default. And we're going to add the code that we copied on JotForm. So let's go ahead and click on paste. There we go. It's going to refresh. Let's click outside of the box. And we have our questionnaire here. Let's go ahead and make it a little bit wider. There we go. We can put it in the center. We can make it a little bit cleaner. If we make it smaller, put it on the right. We can add an image on the left. We can make it nicer if we like, or we can just go ahead and leave it dead center if that's all you need to add in the page. For this demo, we're gonna keep it clean just for this. Now, what's next? Well, if you like the way it looks, if you don't need to change the template, if you don't need to change the look of the form of JotForm, we can go ahead and go into done save and now it's live so if i go into another page in this website that we've created on squarespace it's going to open up, open up the next page there we go and if i go back to questionnaire we'll have the questionnaire right there now if we need to edit this again we'll just go ahead and click double click on this section and it's going to open up the editor now as i mentioned before if you need to change the style of the form because it doesn't go along with your website template. Well, we can go ahead and edit this form on JotForm by heading over to build, going over to form designer, and we can edit color schemes or we can edit each of the elements individually, like the background, the fonts, and all the colors available here. We can also go into styles, theme. If you like a theme that you can use here, if you like this theme, you can just go ahead and select it and it's gonna change all the elements automatically. And there we go, it just updated it. Now, if you want to use this updated style form inside of 
Squarespace, we need to go ahead and grab the code again. So again, go into platform, go into Squarespace, copy this code again and update it here. So if I go into the pencil, if I clean this code, there we go, add the new code. And we have the new questionnaire with the template that we've just selected. But there you go. I do hope that you like this video. Do go ahead and like and subscribe, and I'll see you on our next tutorials.